Okay, welcome to a quick walkthrough of the Sandwich 200 version 2 uh, folding compact 3D printer. We have uh, the top core XY assembled now. Hooray! Fantastic. And fortunately it's as it was designed. So the carriage which will have a flex three type, flex three drive by Muttley 3D um, with a E3D V6 hot end and a volcano set in here just fits uh, with millimeters to spare in each corner without hitting these incredibly strong um, random eBay from Hong Kong. Uh, parts, um, corner bra corner brackets. Um, the frame is just, it's ridiculous. It's, I can't um, uh, move it with my hands. And they're like two euros or something like that, or two dollars. Um, uh, uh, I can't remember, I can't remember. I think it was like two dollars for a pack of four or something silly. Um, but they're quite hard to find. And they're incredibly strong. Now, um, this is, as you can see, this is a vertical arrangement for the bars. Um, and I have deliberately offset the bearings. The this is a core XY design um, with uh, one belt going above and one belt going below. And one of the critical things you won't believe the number of people who get this wrong. Um, one of the critical things is that, firstly, this bearing here, one from belt from here, has to be absolutely dead level with that and go that way. And likewise, this one here. Um, dead level uh, must go at per, uh, right angles to the um, to the uh, bearing there. Um, now, what I'll be doing is I will be putting a, a twist in the belt. Um, <laughs> twist in the belt. Uh, move that out of the way. So that um, it goes back to back on the on the uh, idler bearings rather than putting in teeth bearings um, as some people do so there is just enough clearance f between that and that for the belt to have one twist along its uh, middle axis um, if it happens to rub what I'll do is I'll put the twist here and we'll end up with just um, one thing so basically what happens is the belt comes uh, round there on smooth round here on uh, teeth on this bearing and this is the one that um, if it was critical should be replaced with a GT20 idler bearing um, then a twist on the back here um, going around so that it goes on the on the smooth side here smooth side there smooth side there and in there um, so uh, it's uh, basically smooth smooth judder smooth Smooth, smooth. And the critical ones are this, are this are on here, on here. Now, um, as you can see, I've not got separate X and Y rod, uh, so, so Y rod mount points for this. They're directly into this, um, the plastic pieces. I figured it would be a simpler build um, to do it like that, uh, rather than having to adjust things. Unfortunately, these come out accurately and it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, that's brilliant. No. No judder, no. There's you move the thing around. Uh, what else is so you? Um, oh yes, on the bearings. I've just all I've done is I've taken some 20 millimeter M5, one millimeter washers, and made sure that there's a eight and a half mil there for that to sit in there, or nine mil ish. For that to sit in there. Well, that's fine. Um, Oh, the one thing about this is it's a it's a it's a folding printer, so um, the M12 rods go through these. All right, so I deliberately made that very very stiff, um, so that uh, uh, it uh, 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 stays upright. Um, the they will be mounted on the frame at two points here and here and two points on this side here and here um, with some clips and unlike the previous version where I had on the 
uh, Z rods I had, uh, Z assembly, I had a mount point here and a mount point here. I'm going to replace that with it's just a hinge on here and then a single mount point on the bottom. Um, and all of the extrusion that I had, one, two, three, is gone. So there's just a single piece of extrusion on the bottom that the uh, uh, all the Z pieces, including the, piece, including the power supply, mount onto. Quite a lot of stuff to mount on there. Uh, I still got to do all those brackets. Um, Oh, one of the small uh, feature, neat feature of this um, design is that you put tiny little uh, 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 ganaches, I call them, in here, uh, which hold the belt, and then you drop uh, an M2 nut and bolt into it, and uh, when you tighten it down, it separates the piece of plastic that goes in there and pushes it and holds the belt. The guy who did the... I'll go and get one of them. Where are we? Little bits and pieces. Yeah, yeah. You can see teeth on that and it goes into the belt, so that drops in. Drops in there and it goes a bit, a bit of a fiddly job, but um, much better than printing three meters of PLA and then finding that the resolution is not good enough and you've got, you can't get the belt in there. Or you get a different type of belt, um, or a different manufacturer of belt in. It's a 1.8 millimeters wide, it's a 1.2 millimeters wide, and you can't get the damn thing in. And like one guy on the forums had to re redesigned and reprinted the entire carriage, just specifically to do that one job. Pain in the ass, forget it. Just drop in those little, little things um, and, um, and you're sorted. Um, for comparison, let's walk this over to the version one where I've just printed the other one of those for the other side and uh, hold it carefully up you can see the difference it's a reduction of almost like 40 40 millimeters on each of the level, almost 45 millimeters on each of the left and right side. So that is the width on this is 312. That extrusion at the front is 312. Um, and the uh, it is actually the same depth as this one. Uh, so that was came out some um, total. I think came out to something like 440. But I will make you making the box smaller here because the power supply does turn out and fit down there. Um, uh, those are the 8mm rods and you can see, where is it, at the back, the other side's easier. There, there's the extrusion, that is gone in the revision, revision 2 and that bar is gone as well because we're replacing it with these hinges. Um, also let's show you the bars. These things are monsters. Enormous. It's um, uh, I think it's like uh, 25 mils an inch wide. That's it's hu absolutely huge. There'll be absolutely no problems with that. Um, I think so. Again, cantilever bed on a 75 millimeter whopping. It's great big um, thing. Of course, because the the rods are 300. The Z bar. Z threaded bar is 250 and uh, the um, the travel, the recorded travel on this is um, 200 so there is literally just enough between there and the bottom there's enough in that 75 millimeters minus 10 minus 10 um, 95 so there's two and a half mil at the bottom two and a half mil at the top to give you um, a travel uh, distance of 200 uh, which is pretty cool so um, yeah it, uh, I'm going to increase the you can see here these two are dead level then there and there um, I was going to reduce the box size to 150 um, but I decided it's probably more sensible to, uh, for this for the revision to make it 180, give a little bit more space in the um, in the in the box to um, to put padding above and below when it's inside. As you can see, the two half of the box unclip here. That one turns upside down, clunk, and um, the assembly goes. I think now 
on this one you can see the top part does a 270 degree rotation here and what I've done with this one instead is um, it just drops down through 90 um, which I figured was a more sensible way to do it. The only thing about that though is that um, the, let's take it back to the table, table is that uh, when you do that the uh, clunk, the Flex 3 dive will be sticking up like this. I mean, it's, it's huge with, the, with that uh, automotive grade um, uh, 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 flexible shaft, 800 millimeter flexible shaft. Fantastic idea, by the way. Um, uh, it will be sticking up. So that's why this is removable. It's removable. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and just um, undo this sort of thing. Take it out and stow it, stow it away. Um, thing. Okay, so uh, yeah. On the to-do list is to replace this with lead screws. I'm going to do a um, uh, a geared belt drive, one, two, three, um, so uh, the cantilever will go. That will be revision three. I've got to get this one completed. Thank you very much.